Hey guys. guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm going to try and keep this one short and sweet because the last time we ended up filming for 25 minutes. And well, this is our second time filming this because there was a lot of wind last time. I've tested it. I can't hear any wind on our test clip. If you can hear anything going, oh, 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 oh. it's Mikey. He's playing with his ball. Uh, we brought him outside with us. Anyway, uh, let's just get straight in. Yep, he's here. <laughs> Look, see? So I did want to film a sort of updates video on Juan's health mainly. The last time we filmed an update was July 2019 and a lot has changed and happened since then. Not really. Well, yeah, not a lot has changed, but we've had a lot of like back and forward between some stuff. And there's been some stuff happen that obviously is new, so... I figured we could sit down and just put it in a video because it's so interesting to look back on the last one in July 2019 and see how far you've come and what's changed yeah. and yeah. that kind of thing. So it's good to kind of document it so we have this. We're going to catch up since 2019. So essentially the last time we filmed and updated you guys, we mentioned in that video that he has decreased his fee compa which was the one that was really affecting you having a bad effect it left him sometimes unable to walk by himself because it would affect your balance and your dizziness and stuff like yeah. that it was really difficult so his doctor was like no we're reducing that go back down to four uh, milligrams four milligrams is essentially the highest he can be without having any of those effects um, well, I still have them. But yeah, he still uh, has them, but it's, it's at night. Yeah. So he only gets it. doesn't affect me that much. Yeah. It's only at night where it affects him more. But yeah, he takes four milligrams of pecomp at night currently, um, and then essentially within five minutes, he's like, that's it. Okay, so if the camera position did move, we did just have to go and sort out a couple of things, but um, it's all sorted now. So, as I was saying before, he has gone back down to the safe point with your FECOM, with your, um, the FECOM, which is the other medication. You're lost. <laughs> I'm very lost. But yeah, so he reduced the, f um, the other medication that was essentially just not giving you a good quality of life because uh, that's one of the other things we were saying in the last vlog is that he was really struggling with that medication it makes it a lot harder like he can't work when he's on that medication that's one thing that you really want to do he really wants to get back in and get working because he hasn't been able to for a little while but yeah so the next update and what's changed is he's started a new treatment and that's exactly what his doc that that's the word that your doctor used wasn't it treatment yeah. so it's a medication but it's a treatment and he, you've been on it now for probably around about half a year and i would say it's going okay just because what we haven't ever noticed before with any of joa's medications is actually seeing a change in his seizures or like having a yeah an effect on him having an effect on his seizures even but in this case with this medication which you can explain obviously i'm sorry about the shouting if you can yeah hear me. i don't know how much you can hear but like i said we're outside and it's the weekend today it's a sunday so there's some stuff going on around us anyway so he was just having the usual tonic clonic seizures before which is i always describe it like a fish out of water because of how he shakes however with this new medication he now has two new seizure types, which his doctor has identified. So one of them, I'm still unconscious, but I don't fall. It's just an absence. It's yeah. almost like a time lapse. Exactly. And for him, he doesn't notice any difference whatsoever. Unless in between when he goes unconscious and comes back around again, nothing has changed. Yeah, really. I don't notice. He doesn't notice. Um, but for example, tell them about what happened with you and your mum when you were outside walking. Yeah, I was outside walking with my mum and I just stopped. I didn't notice that I've stopped uh, unless, until, until I came back around and my mum was coming back to get me because she noticed at that point that I wasn't... Uh, Walking yeah, that she was her. walking by herself. He doesn't fall over. He doesn't like. It's weird. He just—it's like 
you know when your eyes get fixed and you can't move your eyes, you have to have someone like click or do something for you to like... That like, was the first yeah, that sort of thing that we noticed yeah. or that I noticed. I don't know. Sometimes I, from nowhere, I would have Becca doing this in front of me and I would be just like, what, what? happened? Thing. At the beginning, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know that it was a type of seizure. I didn't know what was happening. I just thought that it was like a side effect and his eyes were like, he was daydreaming. So I would like, I would do this, I would tickle him, I would just try and get him to come back around. Only after talking to his doctor did I realize what happened, so I don't do that anymore. Sometimes, to be honest, I don't even say anything. I try not to make a big deal out of it. Uh, sometimes I joke, so like, oh, you come back. Did you have a good journey? <laughs> Um, but you also now have um, a seizure where like your eye, your mouth or your hand or your foot, like it twitches. Yes. For... And that's a seizure as well. And I'm conscious. I know yeah. that I'm, I'm fully aware that it's happening. Uh, but it's not dangerous as well, so... Yeah. It's he, okay. He way, right. <laughs> he way prefers these two types of seizures to his standard, the normal seizures that he's used to because with the normal seizures he is like essentially paralysed uh, for the left side of his body for some hours so it does have its um, after effects on him. This guy, he's, they've both had a haircut <laughs> as well. Just side note, they've both had a haircut because it's starting to get warm now. I mentioned this in my last vlog as well it's possible that he was going to have a surgery. At that point, his doctor said he didn't want to do it. He wanted to wait more. As I said, he wanted to try some more with his medication. However, his doctor has decided that it would probably be best um, for him to have the surgery. He's been referred to a specialist hospital for epilepsy where they would do it. However, due to COVID, they're not taking it's referrals. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a delay. Yeah and it's been delayed since last September. So he got referred in September, it's now April, we haven't heard anything. So at the beginning of March, when you had your last appointment, his doctor referred him also to another hospital that has a specialist center for epilepsy to see if that one comes through any quicker. But it's a really difficult time and they're just not taking referrals because of COVID for obviously safety reasons and whatever, but it's difficult. So his doctor does want him to do, to do the surgery just because it's been six years and you've tried different medications different combinations of medications increasing and decreasing so far the only change that you've been able to see has been with this, with yeah. this new treatment so that's why his doctor is really trying to push it in the space of I think only a couple of months he's been on this one he's already gone up to like two and something grams but obviously he's going up safely within safe yeah. limits and stuff like that it's very limited this one because it's a treatment, the amount of the medication that you can take depends on your weight. So there's only a certain amount of this that he can safely take, obviously, depending on his weight. Slightly relating on to what we were just saying, um, with this new treatment that he's doing, he does have some side effects. First one, you can't really tell. Jean's convinced that he has... <laughs> he was telling me it's like oh i have gaps in my hair you can see it. i have ball like like thing is i just think that it's normal i don't think that it's to do with it but one of the side effects of the medication the treatment is alope alopecia alopecia i don't i know what it is but i don't know the name i don't know how you say it in english but it's like alopecia something like that the one where your hair falls out and his hair does fall out a lot like when he washes oh. his hair and even sometimes when he touches his hair, you'll just have he'll have a bunch of his hair just on his hands or on his shampoo. His... I trust you. <laughs> you should, because I look at you every day. I can see, even though he is convinced that he he's like with bald patches, I can't notice anything. You have one bald patch at the back, but that's where your scar is. Yeah. Where you cracked your head open. The second side effect that he's mainly experiencing is weight gain. So before he was very underweight, you can probably tell just by like the video. Because last time, when I look back at the last videos that we filmed together, like... So yeah, he was very underweight at the time and his doctor, we was trying everything we could. Back in the UK, you had a nutritionist. But this medication, one of the side effects is weight gain. And now everything that he's wearing is like... <laughs> it's, I don't know. He's just normal now, that's the thing, but it's really good. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, but I don't have clothes that fit me anymore. Yeah, everything. And I'm not allowed to go to a mall to shop. 
<laughs> new clothes. So how unfair is that? I now look more healthy. Yeah. Because of my weight. Exactly. If that makes sense. He looks a lot healthier, like he has a bit of meat to him. Like this is one thing that I was about to say or trying to say before is that you can really tell in the last videos like how underweight you was. Like you've put on 10 kilos. That's yeah, how underweight he was. He's now in a month. Ex in a month. Yeah, exactly. Before he was very underweight and it wasn't healthy at all. It wasn't anything to do with him. It's just his body like consuming a lot of calories. But I was there is more to just that. I was getting yellow. I was oh, yeah. retaining uh, liquids, yeah. uh, all of that might be related with the 10 kilos that I'm keeping, but I've been doing a lot of blood work. Yeah, every time he's been having an appointment, so every two or three months? No, it was like every month. Okay. Even on the MRI day. Oh yeah, they managed to take yeah, me blood. That true, very true. So yeah, he's been having a lot of blood tests and stuff like that because he's taking four anti-epileptics and you've had God knows how many other medications before that as well. So it's obviously having an effect on his body, the amount that he's taking and his liver and stuff. Pancreas. 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 That, Pancreas, that yeah. guy. That, that guy. guy. Yeah. <laughs> That guy is not he's doing not so happy. Good. Yeah, he's not so good right now. And then his doctor, this is the reason why he's been doing regular blood work, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. To keep an eye on this. So essentially, um, what is it? It's pancreatitis. That's the one. Pancreatitis. So, so it's after all the same thing. Yeah, so his medication, could, the treatment can cause pancreatitis because it's kind of very strong. So we need to keep an eye on it just in case um, that does happen. Um, and if... If it happens, I need to go and just... Just go. Just go, go to the hospital. Don't ask. Just go. Just go. <laughs> but in all this process, in finding this out, his doctor diagnosed you. This is probably the least important thing or the least dramatic thing, but he diagnosed him with Gilbert syndrome. Oh, yeah. I don't know if anyone else watching this has it, has anyone that's been diagnosed with it or whatever. Gilbert syndrome is a common harmless liver condition in which the liver doesn't properly process bilirubin bilirubin is produced by the breakdown of red blood cells. His body doesn't process bilirubin correctly, uh, which leads to a buildup of it, and that's very bad. It's something that's very manageable, thank goodness. All he needs to do is just keep eating. He can't fast or anything like that. He has to like regularly have food in his system. So like I said, it's manageable. <laughs> I can't. I think the last thing we have to talk about really, of any importance, is your MRI, which is very simple, very simple update. There's been no significant changes in his brain tumour, so it's not growing. It may be like centimetres, mil not centimetres. No, not centimetres. <laughs> it may be millimetres difference, but it's nothing significant. The doctors aren't worried about it, so if there's any silver lining from this video... It's stable, as they say. It's just one less thing to worry about right now. So, yeah. ending on a sort of good note let's say. I'm gonna leave it here because Jamal's getting very uncomfortable and I can tell that you're just like can it's I go ass. now? So I'm just gonna end this um, very very quickly. Jamal's just gone to take Mikey back inside. If you did enjoy this vlog, this video, do give it a big thumbs up. If you do want to see more videos from us make sure to subscribe. The link is of, well, the link's down below, the button is down below, everything is down below. I'm uploading more again, so keep an eye out for more videos to come. I do have a couple that are scheduled to be uploaded, so like I said, keep an eye out for that. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye!